George Washington Carver, born in the 1860s and died in 1934. He was born in Missouri into slavery to parents Mary and Giles, who were also slaves. All of them belonged to Moses Carver. George had ten siblings, all of whom died young. His mother was stolen and sold by slave traders and never heard from again. After they were emancipated, George was educated by his stepmother Susan and had to walk ten miles to public school since black people weren't allowed in the nearby white school. He grew up calling himself Carver's George, identifying his owner, so it was easy to change his name later to George Carver, and he chose Washington as his middle name. Though he saw black men killed by whites all around him, he remained in school and finished high school. He was rejected from one college for being black, and became a homesteader and a farmer for years, until he eventually enrolled in college for botany at Iowa State in the early 1890s, the first black student there and he became a faculty member there in time. George was later offered a job by Booker T. Washington at the famous black school, the Tuskegee Institute, as the head of the agriculture department, and he stayed there for 47 years. Despite his struggles with the politics of the institute and the faculty, Carver was an effective educator of students and local farmers, focusing on soil oxidation, crop rotation, and the possibilities of the peanut. In the 1910s, Carver publicized over 140 uses for the peanut, including oil, butter, and milk, with medicinal and research properties, and he became internationally famous for his work, promoting it around the country and in Europe. While interfacing with presidents and world leaders, he challenged policies and perceptions on racial equality. An avid Christian, Carver never married. Though no direct facts are known, we do know that he had a very close and long-term relationship with Austin W. Curtis, Jr. They lived together for years, and when Carver died, he left some of his fortunes to Curtis. Carver was sometimes known to flirt with male students in the school, and he often resisted dates with women. This plus his relationship with Austin has led many researchers to believe that he was gay.